In this guitar lesson, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite fiddle tunes, Big Sayota. This arrangement is at an intermediate level, so it's not too difficult, and we're using the G major scale as our foundation here in the open position. In this first part of the lesson, we're going to take a slow play through part A, have a look at the melody. We'll also take a look at a two octave G major scale, which you can use to practice working on your right hand technique and your left hand positioning of the notes. In the second video lesson, we're going to take a look at part B and we're going to take a look at an exercise for our double picking, our alternating picking using the G major scale and also take a look at the arpeggios found in the tune. So we're going to look at the arpeggios for the G major chord, the C, the D and the E minor chord. They're all really useful to work on your technique and learn about the notes of the chords but also looking forward, improvising with the tune, knowing the arpeggios and the G major scale is really a starting point. So if you head on over to pickandlessons.com, you're going to find the tab for this arrangement and you're going to find a tech worksheet which has the G major scales and the arpeggios. First of all, let's have a slow play through part A. Part A with pick up notes. One, two, three, four. So there's part A of this arrangement for Big Sayota. Take your time with it. Keep a close eye on the tab. The finger markings are in there. The right hand markings are there as well. But just as a reminder, right hand follows the rhythm. Crotchets are your down strokes and the quavers are your down up strokes. And your left hand, keep an eye on your fingering too. The markings are there. Now, if we also have a look at our G major scale, that's gonna help with your left hand fingering, getting used to the positioning of the notes in the tune. So, the second part of this lesson right now, we're going to take a look at the two octave G major scale, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, so spend some time on the G major scale. It's gonna help with your left hand positioning of the notes when you're playing that F sharp there with your third finger and then you need to move back over to the C perhaps with your first finger. So we've got two positions we're playing out of. So work on that G major scale, work on your right hand. Keep a close eye on the picking direction and also the fingering position for your left hand. Head on over to pickandlessons.com and you're going to find this tab and the tech worksheet but you'll also find the second part of this lesson. We're going to take a look at part B of the melody, the arpeggios for the chords in the tune, a double picking exercise for the right hand and we've got some play along tracks. So we've got three tempos to practice playing along plus some backing tracks. I'll see you there.